All right, so today we're going to talk about how to um, utilize the reverse light switch on a four-speed shifter. To truly do that, you only need three components. You need the ball switch, you need the actuator. I'm not sure if that's the correct name for it or not, but that's what I call it. I actually couldn't find this for sale anywhere. Maybe I didn't look correctly or not, but I uh, had one, one of my buddies make me one. So if anybody else needs one, I'm pretty sure he'd be willing to make more. And you'll need a retainer for the switch. Um, we're gonna do a bunch of more other things in here. Uh, we've already repainted the the top plate. We're gonna replace one of the decals. We're gonna replace the actual shift knobs. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and replace the old gasket while we're at it. Um, you can find a gasket online. It's not that expensive. I think it's somewhere around ten dollars, or you can just make one. In my case, I just chose to make one better than the um, old raggedy one that was already on there anyway and it's pretty simple and straightforward so let's start with the whole purpose of this video which is the uh, reverse light switch so to do that we gonna we're gonna go ahead and start with taking off the screws for the retainer <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and screw on the retainer to the actual ball switch <clears throat> this is your um, shifter this is the front of it this is the rear of it um, you already have a ball switch set up here which uh, sends a signal to the system to know that hey look you're either on park or you're in neutral so if i put this on reverse then that's no longer activated if i put it on neutral it's back to activated or if I put it on drive it's no longer activated and what we're trying to do is believe it or not it already comes with it or actually it's designed to come with it uh, we're going to install a, a uh, the switch here and the actuator here and what's going to happen is once I go ahead and move this to uh, the reverse it's going to go ahead and activate the uh, the switch so let's go ahead and do that um, we're going to need our Phillips and we want that little flush so it fits a little better. Go ahead and get it started with our fingers, I guess. Might have better luck with this one. Yeah, much better luck with that one. Okay. Actually not having very good luck with getting these screws to line up but let's try it one more time okay better luck there let me pick up the one I dropped having much better luck. Okay. Once again, the only thing we've done so far is we've installed our little switch and our little retainer. So it's a ball switch. 
that when depressed it actually activates and allows electricity to flow through it and what we're going to do next is we're going to install what i call the actuator whether that's the correct name for it or not that's a very different question uh, but believe me actuator sounds correct or feels correct so What we're trying to do is get this to fit through it and it looks like it's just a little just a hair too thick so I might have to pound it in again this was made as a favor from a friend of mine so this is not factory and I don't expect it to fit perfect fit better on the other side because I did a test fit but that's probably because the other side was a little worn out um, we're not having the best of luck here and essentially what it is is so this part that was manufactured is just a hairline thicker. I might have to get a little sandpaper out here or a grinder and just grind it a little bit more. Uh, but I think it will fit. It just needs a little bit of, um, I think it needs a little bit of motivation. Let's see if we can give it some motivation here. Uh -uh. Huh. So even with a little bit of motivation, she's still not going in. He made me two. Let me see if the second one fits a little better. No, they're both just the hairline thick. So, see, this is why R and D takes a while because you think you've got it. This one needs to be going a little bit better. You think you've got it. <clears throat> and then you don't so you got to do it again this one is going in better than the other one so the lesson here is basically and he saved uh, the dimensions of that we just need to go a little thinner on the threaded part This one fits a little bit better. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so this one fits a little better. And um, essentially what's going to happen is when you come across it, it's going to push the button in. That's it. So now I'm in park and I'm in reverse and that's going to go ahead and activate the um, it's going to go ahead and activate your reverse lights
So we need to go a little bit further in because we're not getting enough thread for the bolt to catch on. Oh, it should be much better. All right. All right, so technically uh, we've accomplished what the purpose of this video is supposed to be, which is installing a reverse light switch. 